yo what's up people hope you're having a good day or a good night whatever time it is where you are i just hope you're having a good one a really good one man so today today this is a special edition video how was that that was my um that was my Darth Vader impersonation, but nah, to get down to business, man. So this is my very first and only, um, my very first and only black series figure. And this is, well, I don't think this guy needs an introduction. This is the Mandalorian. This is the Mando. So we got Mando, we got the child, we got some guns. We have the little pod here and we have the egg. We got the child reaching out, you know, trying to phone home. But this is a special edition video, man. This video is dedicated to none other than my main man, Sawyer. You guys are probably thinking about, probably, I mean, you guys are probably thinking, who the heck is Sawyer? Let me tell you. Sawyer is a cool little guy that I know. He is seven years old. Um, he is the son of my friend, Michael uh and they sent me this figure right here to review and i told sawyer that i was going to review this i was going to review this figure um just for him on my channel man so shout out to uh seven-year-old sawyer from um uh, open box mafia he loves action figures he loves star wars man so this review video is dedicated to seven-year-old sawyer man so let's crack it open and get right into it right okay 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 sawyer i hope you're watching this video man this one's for you so check it out man we are looking at the mandalorian uh i believe episode uh two season one of the mandalorian um is where this figure is uh pretty much where he comes from you can look at this guy you can see his um his helmet he's he's, he's dirty mud but he is dirty we got like little mud spots all over his visor right here right there between his helmet um and the little um the little t-shape right there we got some mud splatter right there look at this guy you can see he's got some brown shading tans and cps all over him man but let's check out this articulation on the mando if you haven't seen the mandalorian you already know you can probably check it you can you can definitely check him out on, on disney plus not probably you can check him out on disney plus Plus, if you haven't seen the Mando, but I don't at this point. I mean, I don't. I'm not. Um, I'm not a, a huge Star Wars fan at all. But I don't. Even I knew the Mandalorian was on Disney Plus. So you know, just so you guys know, he's on Disney Plus. So anyway, let's keep it moving. Let's check out his articulation. Let's see. Let's see. Let's hit that T pose real quick. Let's go ahead and do that because people love to see the T pose. Let's see how far his arms go up. So his arms are going to go up at that high. All right. So you're going to be limited by this shoulder pad right here. And this shoulder pad does not move at all. That is sculpted onto the figure. So when that shoulder pad goes up, it's going to go right there into his neck area. And so um, that's going to limit your articulation on his uh, left arm. So you're not going to be able to hit that T pose pose too too well on the left arm but the right arm however it goes up much much further so the shoulder pad for here it is something different working for him with this shoulder pad let's see it kind of hooks out a little bit and it goes up and it moves with the arm ah check that out so on his other shoulder let's see what happens here it doesn't move as well well maybe it does i don't want to force it because i don't want to break it um but there's the i mean that's that's pretty much how far I'm willing to push it like that, which is still, you know, that's not bad. It's not bad at all. I like it. Check out some of the coloring right there. You can see they did their best to make it look like he was dirty, right? Because he fought that big old, like that rhinoceros looking thing in that episode. And he was, he got dirty when he did it. He got down dirty and muddy. So as far as his elbows go, his elbows are not double jointed. We got single jointed elbows right here, but you can push it a little bit further than 90 degrees. Standard is like about right there, like single jointed elbows typically stop about right there but this guy you can push him just a little bit further and it goes like that okay so let's move on down to his little gauntlet all these little electronics on his body right here you can see that check out the detail check out the skull and once again you can see where they did like some so-called mud splashes or like dirt splashes all over him and we have a i call this a weapon a weapon holding um joint right here because it goes up and down it doesn't go like front and back it goes up and down so that's like a weapon holding joint right there and you can see the trigger fingers are already there and we did not get any extra um hands in there so this just means mando is going to be toting a gun or a weapon all day every day in my collection check it out right here 
so pretty much more of the same stuff you can see that paint those paint differences you see that right there the light brown to the brown right there it looks like mud looks like dirt so like i said before they did their best to simulate that mud and dirty look you can see it right here too on his chest on his chest plate right there that's broken off so imagine sparks are flying out of that right there so yeah he looks really really dirty and that's good i like how they did that though like they try to stay true to the the episode right there like he looks really dirty and that's cool i like that so you can also see um the sculpt and detail in his arms or not his arms well yeah his arms his shirt you can see like the wrinkles and the pleats all in his shirt right there so they tried their best to uh recreate the way he actually looks in the show and you gotta love that you gotta love when a toy maker you know goes all out to recreate what we've already seen with our own two eyes in the show or in a movie so that's cool all right moving on down the line we have our little shoulder strap right here it's got some ammunition on it some ammo flip up his hard well it's a soft plastic cape but you know it's kind of hard it's not soft goods but it's soft plastic okay check out his back looks like that we have a holster for one of his weapons so let's see here does this actually come up come out uh it does i think that comes out let's see yep it comes out so what we're going to do is we're going to keep that right there and i'm going to put his little sidearm his pistol we're going to go ahead and just holster that weapon safety first everybody remember safety first holster that weapon let's put that thing in there real quick the blam blam goes the blamma there it is put that bang bang up man this is a video safety first put that bang bang up all right i always have a hard time putting these little pegs back together got it all right cool come on man plug in plug in i think it's actually i think it's hitting the gun which is why it can't plug in fully it's actually touching the gun so it plugs in a little bit but not fully all right but anyway looks like that so the blam blamma is looking like that all right so waist articulation so check this out you see what's going on here so the torso is moving but the the belt the um the pistol belt or the weapons belt along with the shoulder strap is not moving because it's actually around his body so that's not moving so you're going to be limited right there so be careful you don't want to twist it too far or too you don't want to get too crazy with that with that twist right there but you can still get really really far though like you still got a lot of motion so the range of motion is there so I don't think now that I'm messing with it a lot, I'll take that back. I don't think this is actually going to get in your way at all as far as like posing. If you're a dynamic poser, you don't have to worry about it because you're going to go forward that much. and You're going to go back that much right there. And I don't feel like any stress or tension on that. So we're good to go. Don't go forward too much, though, because you get a little gap right there and a small gap in the back. Look at that. More dirt, more dust, more debris all on them all on the belt all on the shoulder strap they did a good job you know they did a good job let's no no drop down no drop down is there a thigh cut there is a thigh cut there it is dun, 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 dun. that cut is right there bam you gotta love that mcfarland however doesn't do thigh cuts <laughs> all right let's not talk about like mcfarland let's stay on topic here more mud and dirt right there moving on down the line here check out his boots his boots um are like mix match like did is this armor just like completely mix match like all the way around like did he just find like random parts of armor and just put them on his body you gotta forgive me guys i don't know the mando's backstory but so far it's looking like random mix match parts of armor all right check this out wham bam bam look at that knee articulation double jointed with the knees you gotta love it you gotta love double jointed with the knees. I'm definitely loving it. How are we going? In like that, out like that. Nice and squeaky, but not too bad, not too scary. Feet going up like that, and they're going back like that. So that's good. As far as the splits, though, let's see. Let's see. The splits are looking like. Hold your head up, Mando. Come on, dog. You know, I have spoken. Hold your head up. I have spoken. That's the end of it. All right. This is the way right here, right? Put it on back. Put it on back. The splits are looking like that. So I don't think the mandalorian is a splits kind of a guy but um if he were the splits would look like that for the mandos all right coming on around come on around check them out all the way down right the cape is a good length looks like it did in the show 
all right cool so let's move on to what we have next we have this little pod here let me see this plastic is insane so we have a pod for the child and we have a little um a stand for the pod so you could probably just plug this in like right here let's see yeah that plugs in right there so there's like a little pod for the child right there and it's clear so you can easily um you can photoshop that out of your pictures quite easily because it's already clear so there's the pod for the child and here is the child himself got his hands in the air like he's at his favorite concert one hand in the air one hand in the air throw your hands up throw your hand throw your hands up throw your hand all right anyway so here's the child he's got gray hair he was just born but he's already stressed out come on dude chill out um as far as articulation with the child um i feel like his head can move a tiny bit but i'm not sure if that's like on purpose or if it's just because his head is actually just separate from his body and there's just some natural movement because of the end oh i was wrong his head does move all the way around 360 but yeah he's got that hand up look at that <laughs> his hand even moves that's a nice little touch ah, that's cool how far does it move oh that moves quite uh, quite the distance to be a teeny tiny little hand. That's a good job, little baby. That's how he sounds, by the way. So anyway, you can put this dude. Oh, wow. Fell apart. You can put this dude right here in the pod. He can go to sleep. He can chill. He can have his baba, take his nap nap, whatever he wants to do. All right. So we got those things right there. Last but not least, still in the package, we have the egg that he fought the giant rhinoceros for the egg right there and we had the long gun look at that thing Zzz, electric right there we have the long gun all right so that's it for the mando man black series mando like i said man this video right here was dedicated to sawyer and michael from open box mafia if you don't know what open box mafia is it is a group it is a toy group on facebook that i suggest i highly suggest you join all right so that's it guys thanks for stopping by like share comment all that good stuff man see you